do forgive me for the not so great audio. I have to record somewhere not in my closet, so there is a little bit of an echo. Hopefully that doesn't bother you too much, I just- I gotta do this here. Hi! So, I made like a Warrior Cats video, like a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but like, a little while ago. And it did- It did pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. So you know what we're doing again? A Warrior Cats video. I know, I'm, I'm so creative. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, or- uh, welcome, just in general, if you're new, my name is Squirrel Bites. uh, here we are, hi, I don't have an intro yet. I kind of just say things. But, I'm a big fan of Warrior Cats. I drew a reference sheet for my Warrior Cat OC Pride Heart, and I thought, well, what if I just make a video on her? But like, instead of talking about exactly what I did, I mean, I probably will still talk about what I did, to be honest. But I'll also talk a bit about her story. So yeah, Warrior Cats video. So who is Pride Heart? Well, uh, Pride Heart started as Pride Kit. Obviously, she was born and raised in a clan. I've been thinking about River Clan a lot, but I might just also make my own clan. But she was born as Pride Kit because she was the only kit to her mother, right? She's the only kid. Her mother like had uh, this like huge scene of this pregnancy and she was like, oh, I'm gonna have like 20 freaking kids. And then she only had one, right? But instead of being all upset about it, she was just kind of like, you know what, this kid, this kid's gonna make me proud. This kid is gonna make me so freaking proud. In fact, I'm gonna name her Pride Kit. So she named her Pride Kit. In the nursery, Pride Kit had two main friends. She had Right now, his name's Ash Kit, but I'm thinking of changing his name. She had Ash Kit and Shade Kit, and they're all good friends. It's a group of three fellows, which I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of realized that I kind of made their designs really similar to Firepaw, Graypaw, and Ravenpaw, and the fact that Pride Heart is an orange tabby, and Ash something, I haven't decided his name yet, but Ash is a gray tabby and a <laughs> shade heart. That's that's her name so far, bro. Shade heart uh, is a is a black cat. Um, I'm trying my best, man. I swear. More than likely, Ash and Shade will probably go through some redesigns so that they're not so incredibly similar to the other two fellows. But Pride Heart is staying Pride Heart. I freaking absolutely adore her design. But okay, right. They're kids, and now they're apprentices. Wow! Okay, they're upgraded to apprentices. And I do, I'd like to point out the fact that this story is like not very well developed like at all. Uh, I'm still working on it. But, right, now they're apprentices. That's so cool. Pride, Pride Kit, my god. Pride Paw wants to be the freaking best. She wants to become the leader, right? She is a cat with ambition, bro. As for Shade Paw, she's kind of just like there. She doesn't really do much. But she doesn't really want to become a medicine cat. She's just like, she's not interested in anything. She kind of just is there. And Ashpaw doesn't like anything, presumably. He doesn't like to hunt. He feels bad for the little critters whenever he kills them. And he has a difficult time eating because of it. And he doesn't like the idea of fighting other cats. He's just a fella, right? Pride Paw doesn't understand either of her friends and in fact will go out of her way sometimes to just tell them that they're just straight up wrong with what they want but she's she generally just doesn't know any better she's kind of dumb she's kind of really stupid and like self-centered but she loves her friends in fact she quite likes one friend in particular as they grow older pride paw starts to have her eye on shade paw Ooh. My dog's here and I always kick her out when I record, but I kind of feel bad because I haven't like looked at her all day. So if you hear her in the background, I do apologize. She's going to be chilling with us. So yeah, I apologize, um, <laughs> but I kind of like came up with this whole idea because I was texting a friend of mine and I was like, hey, what if I make a character called like Pride Paw or something and make her gay? So it's like, <laughs> Pride, <laughs> However, sadly enough, Shade Paw does not return the feelings, but Pride Paw doesn't know this, right? I'm not gonna get too far into everything going on with Shade Paw, right? 
but essentially a short synopsis of what's going on with Shade Paw is that she's like struggling, right? She's my bad sniffle. <laughs> she is struggling, right? She is hearing like voices and stuff and she's getting convinced by the Dark Forest to like betray her clan, basically. And nobody knows that this is going on with Shade Paw, but they are noticing like weird things like why is she talking to rocks, bro? And she'll just be like, um, they're speaking, obviously. Do you not see all them eyeballs, bro? They're talking. And they're looking at you. And then they're just kind of like, um, um, uh. So nobody's aware of this, especially not Pride Paw, because Pride Paw is just a mere apprentice, just looking to get herself a cute little girlfriend, right? So Pride Paw will be like, uh, hey, shoddy, you come here often? And Shade Paw will be like, this world will end. Darkness is upon us. We will all die. And then Pride Paw will be like, uh, that's kind of hot, shoddy. Again, I don't want to get too far into different characters, so I'm not going to really exactly explain why, but you can probably deduct the reasoning. Ash Paw does not like clan life. He leaves, right? And he becomes a kitty pet. So now it's just... Pride Paw and Shade Paw. And they become warriors. Wow, weeeees! Pride Paw becomes Pride Heart and Shade Paw becomes Shade Heart. Sorry, that took me a second to get out. And now they're warriors, and wow, life is so freaking cool. Pride Heart is like going absolutely bonkers, right? Because obviously she wants to be the best, and she thinks that because she managed to do the bare minimum and pass as an apprentice, that she is the greatest warrior of all time. As for Shade Heart, things have only gotten worse. In fact, she begins to befriend Rhodes and does start to deduce a plan on taking over the clan. Not by becoming a deputy or anything, but like, she just straight up wants to become a dictator. Not only that, but she also wants to take over neighboring clans. Pride Heart's feelings for Shade Heart have only gotten stronger as they've grown up. In fact, at this point, it's, not, it's no longer a puppy crush. It's just, she's straight up in love, right? She's just, she just feels so much happier around Shade Heart. And while she still is self-centered and thinks that she's the greatest, she does believe that Shade Heart is second to best, the best being her, which is, at, you know, the closest that you can get <laughs> with Pride Heart. Pride Heart wants to become the deputy. And she'll talk about this often with Shade Heart. And Shade Heart will look at her funny, but nobody can really tell the difference between her looking at Pride Heart funny and just looking at Pride Heart because she just always looks off. Shade Heart sneaks out more and more, and people don't really notice except for Pride Heart because the stirring of her loved one, I guess, her love interest, always wakes her up. And she does see Shade Heart leave, but she never wants to assume the worst, because she, you know, again, she thinks that Shade Heart is second to best. So, I mean, like, what could Shade Heart possibly be doing? Plus, Shade Heart is really shy. Shade Heart isn't doing anything bad, is she? But, again, she is. She is doing things bad. She's meeting up with more rogues. She's building up, basically, this entire community of rogues to take over the clans. And there comes a moment where everything's calm and quiet and everything's just grand and happy. And the rogues attack. Sadly enough, some kittens are killed, some elders are killed, and some warriors are killed. And Pride Heart is doing the absolute best that she can to defend her clan and to defend her loved ones. And as she's looking around, seeing all these warriors fighting off these rogues, her heart sinks to her stomach as she realized that Shade Heart is nowhere to be found. Her first thought is that Shade Paw got killed. Shade Paw, my god. Shade Heart got killed. But as she's looking frantically for her love interest, she finally sees Shade Heart, except not in the way that she wants to see her. Shade Heart is attacking the clan Medicine Cat, and Pride Heart is, of course, in a bunch of confusion, but attacks Shade Heart anyway. She frantically asks Shade Heart what she thinks she's doing, but with no response, Shade Heart only attacks Pride Heart back, and now they're on a full-on brawl. To make a long battle short, 
basically they both get messed up. Pride Heart now is like covered in scars. She loses an eye and there's a ginormous claw mark going through the little heart marking on her chest. Shade Heart is killed by Pride Heart. The rogues scatter as soon as they see that Shade Heart is Zed, which leads the clan to believe that Shade Heart led them. The deputy is now dead, and seeing the grand bravery that Pride Heart put into defending the clan, she gets she gets to become deputy. Eventually from deputy, she becomes leader, and she becomes Pride Star, so she does get to live out her dream as a kid, but she would trade it all away just to have Shade Heart back. Her personality also does a huge 180. She's no longer cocky and arrogant. She's now styotic. Is, is that how you styotic? I don't know. And really quiet. She's more of a listener than a talker now. And she's always on the lookout for anybody who's acting strange. And that's my OC Pride Heart. What do you guys think of her? I like her a lot. And do you guys like the reference sheet? Because I really like my format of reference sheets. I like them a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think they're pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching, and what do you guys think of this style of video of me drawing a character and talking about that character? Uh, I really enjoyed making this. Uh, hopefully you will enjoy it as well. As of me recording this audio, there is no fan art to feature, uh, but if you did make fan art and you sent it to me or you posted it and I just there's nothing in this video. What the heck, Squirrel Bites? Where is the fan art? Uh, I'm sorry, it'll probably be in the next one. Goodbye. I love you. Mwah.